What's happening, guys? Boom! You are here with your boy Don X. And I'm coming to you live from my living room and in my spare time. Anyway, so what I wanted to tell you guys is I'm gonna be creating out this gorgeous visual image as you guys can see here with Azra. Um, she is King AK official on uh, Insta, one of the, uh, the influencers on Instagram as well. So I always want to do like a little something with her. I want to do like a photo shoot and things as well. But this is what I'm gonna be working on first in order to actually get all of this demographics and all that nice what not jazz and stuff, everything out. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get to it. Anyway, so let's get started without further ado. So this is the lovely image that I'm going to be doing. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be creating, um, or not creating, I'm just going to put on my very own portrait um, adjustment action that I've already pre-created. Now it doesn't look 100% and stuff or whatever just yet. Because what I've done is actually bumped like up the tones and things in my preset itself. Um, so I want some of the reds and stuff out. Well, not out. On some of the reds and stuff in the face, um, I don't want it like overexposed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create it like that. Yellows, I'm gonna bring down a bit because you can see what the yellows actually does in the background. I don't like the yellows so much. So I'll bring the yellows down. And then we're gonna go to luminance. Just gonna decrease it a bit because I actually wanna bring out the detail in the face. Don't forget that. Okay, and then the reds, I'm gonna bump up a bit because I actually wanna see that nice reds on the face, the contours on the face itself. As you can see what the yellows does, uh, I have to bump up that yellows because it's actually a bit pixelated in the background. Um, it's because the image is a bit small, I got it from Insta, I took it from Insta. But don't worry about that, we'll iron that out just now. So I like the overall image of this now. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to decrease that highlights a bit because you can see it's going to overexpose. I don't want to overexpose it now, um, I'm actually going to touch that up in the image itself. Let's Let's just bump up the lights a bit more and the darks. I actually want to see some darks on the face and the shadows. I want to increase a bit. So ignore the background. We're going to actually touch up on that now. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I don't want to go ahead and play with any split tonings and the highlights and all that stuff just yet because um, I'm actually going to sort that out afterwards. So I like the primary colors. I'll keep it that way. I'll just open up the image. Um, okay, so that's what the image basically looks like. Uh, so you guys are going to get a feel of what the thing looks like ultimately now, overall, you know what I'm saying. And if you guys, just the heads up, um, I'm not sponsored by anything, I sponsored myself. So it's not like I use Skillshare and all the things, whatever, but if you guys want to go in and check out some of uh, my work, besides an Instagram and things as well, and the prints and things that I'm actually selling, you guys can head over to Scopio Images. Uh, so just search for Scopio, S-C-O-P-I-O, -O, Scopio. I'm selling most of my stuff on there. Um, that's just like a little sideline or whatever. Anyway, so this is the image we have with Azra. So what I'm going to do is um, Control J that, make a duplicate copy of that. Um, so we have a duplicate copy. Okay, perfect. That's 100% fine. So what I like to do is I like to zoom in on the image. So I already blew the image um, up. As you can see, I put it already on 240 pixels so what I like to do is I'll just bring it up to about 300 so uh, you can get the clarity of the face and stuff so not the clarity of the face now so this part is perfect now what I like to do is I like to go ahead and do the dodges so I'll this is like your 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 uh, this is your local dodge and burn so I'll just like to bring out some of that keep the exposure on about 20% don't increase it way 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 too much because it's going to look like totally crap so I just like to highlight over the areas where I see it's nice and light you know, so just bring out some of that exposure so it's nice here so I'll bring out that over there that's beautiful 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 okay and then I see some lights over here I'll bring that out as well 
and then I'll bring this part out as well. Guys, I might um, speed through some of the stuff, um, but yeah, all the questions and stuff you guys can go in and ask me. Just do that there, 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 there. let's increase that there. Perfect. Just bring out that there and bring out some of that light part of the hair over there. I think that looks perfect. Uh, I don't need to touch up on that. As you can see, it's already exposed. I don't want to do that. And then what I like to do is for the local um, dodging burn, I'll just go to that burn tool over there. You don't need to like, create any contents and stuff for content away and all that. It exposes a bit too much. So put it at 20 on all the dark areas. So what you'll see what it actually does after this. I'll just go on that dark area there. There's a bit of a dark area there. Dark area. So it's just gonna add like some nice contrast in here. So. Okay, and then let's just go over this. Not too much because I'm actually gonna touch up on that afterwards. Okay, so now you guys can go ahead and see what that basically does. It adds that over there. You can see it adds in like the highlights. So that's what I like to go in and do. Okay, so that was your local dodging boom. Anyway, so what I like to do is I'll just like to add a gradient map on there. Just go to your um uh just go to that layers panel over there, just click on luminosity. Uh, what this is gonna do is just click on your gradient editor over there. Um so after you have your gradient editor in, um, I'm gonna actually show you guys how to just do that 50%. You can see the image changing, so I'm just bumping up the, 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 the light on the image itself because the image is a bit too dark. Okay, so there you can see what this basically does. It just adds some nice light on the image itself, adds some contrast and things. Um, okay, so that's that one letter part. So the next part, what I'm going to go in and do is I'm just going to go in and smooth or not. Let's first let's first handle the, the edit itself. So Control Shift and X on um, layer one itself to bring up your liquify tool. Um, you can see what the liquify tool basically does. Um, I'm gonna show you now. Uh, what I what I normally go and do is I try to make them look more like Chinese. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bloat up Azra's eyes. Let's just bloat Azra's eyes up there. Bloat it a bit more. The pupils will increase as well. That's fine. And then what I do is. I'm gonna raise Azra's eyebrows a bit more. Try not to do too much of this. So uh, if you want the like the Chinese effect, and then I'm gonna in open the eyes a bit more and bring this down because I want the overall like Chinese look. And then, what I like to do is, I like to make the, so not too much, just a little bit of that, so just to give it that old Chinese effect. And then just raise the, you know, did you hear that whistle? <laughs> just do that there, that there. Okay, that's perfect. I don't want to change your face too much because it looks yeah, it's nice as is. Yeah, I think that looks perfect. Funny. And the eye of it move that old Chinese thing. Perfect. Click OK. So as you can see what it does is it adds that whole little look as you can see there. It just changes up the face and things a bit more. You know, um, so that's ultimately what I wanted to get a go ahead and do. You know, I'm just gonna crop this image quickly a slight bit so I can actually see the full length of it. So there we go. So that's the full length, control zero to get the full length. If you blown in, just press control zero. Uh, always make sure that your number lock and stuff is basically on. Okay, so we have that part over there. So the next latter part, what I want to actually go ahead and do is I want to add like smoothing on Azra's skin. 
So I first want to go ahead and decrease that blem blemishes. So I'll take the, the spot healing brush tool. In this instance, just click on there. I don't need a sample. Click on there. Click on there. Click on there. Okay, just take that part away. Okay, I think that is perfect. And then what I like to go ahead and do is make another copy of that layer. Now press Ctrl and I and then go ahead and change that one to vivid light. You won't see anything now, but we will filter other uh, high pass, make that on like 25. So you'll see a bit of the smoothening. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Change that up to like six. Uh, let's try rather eight because I don't want it to be too smooth. And then hold in Alt and then press on your mask tool over there. And then click on B for your brush. Make sure that your foreground is uh, white. So press X on there. And then what you want to do is decrease your opacity. Make your opacity like something 25% for now. And then what you go ahead and do is just increase your brush size and just brush over the skin. So what you're doing is you're just doing a nice smooth on the skin itself. Let's just smooth that part out a bit more. Smooth that. I'll just click again. Smooth that part out more. So what this does is it also takes out all that, um, like if the ease already uh, dodge and burns on the, I'd already move that as well. I don't want to go too much over the forehead because I don't want it to be too clear. I have to go over here as well. And just bear in mind that if you actually done this in camera raw, um, like with a larger image you would see all of that. Um, you would see the details and stuff a bit more, but because this is like a JPEG image, and it's uh, but fairly small, so you won't see all of that detail coming out of the face. But you can already see the details, as you can see over there. We'll add the details and stuff back afterwards. Okay, so that's perfect, as you can see what it looks like now. So that's the smoothing on the skin. Uh, press Ctrl J, make another copy of that. Press Ctrl Shift and U. And then just change your blending mode to overlay. Uh, press V to eat the select tool, and then just go to filter. Uh, other high pass again and then make it on one and you'll see it will bring back all that crisp image or it will bring back the crisp image crisp image of that one um, so you have that now over there that should be 100% fine and then the next step what I want to go ahead and do is I want to just go ahead and bring out the color of Azra's eyes so I'll create the curves uh, yeah create one of these curves uh, Click in the middle and drag it all the way up over there, all the way up. And then, after you've done that, press Control Backspace to change your mask and then hit your brush tool. Make sure your foreground is again white. If it's not, just press X and then just bump your opacity all the way up. And then, what you want to go ahead and do is just click in the eye. Don't worry if you actually got the rest of the iron stuff in. Just press X and then you brush over the, the dark parts of it where you, where you actually don't want to overexpose that. So do exactly the same this side over that dark parts. It's perfect. Okay, so now you can see we got the color of our eyes out. I like to keep it as is, but if, you, if you're not one for it, you can just decrease the opacity and stuff to how you actually want to go in and see that. I like to keep it on the full because when I actually do my color grading and it will bring out the eyes and stuff a bit more so I leave it exactly as it is. Um, so just press Ctrl 0. Um, so what we have over there is, so we'll do this here, create another one of these. So let's go to another, so I'm going to create another curves because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the the um, global touch and burn so create two of these curves create another curves and then press ctrl j to make another copy the bottom one i want you to go ahead and drag this one up just slightly press ctrl and then just invert this mask uh, alt backspace for this one for the mask 
and then the top one I want you to go ahead and decrease that opacity a bit more and then alt backspace uh, press B for your brush tool make sure that your foreground is white so press X and your opacity I'm um, increase my opacity to about 25 percent so now the bottom one this is basically going to be your uh, this is your global dodge this one is going to be your global burn okay so these two I like to actually group together so I can make it make it a red um, so this one over here you'll click on the mask over there press brush you have your opacity and then what you want to do is just brush over the whites slightly over all, even though it's already exposed don't overexpose it more so just slightly do that you can see what it's actually doing it's actually putting through the light parts of Azra space do that there have one more over there brush over that maybe I'm going to increase this to about 35% so I can see Go over by the eyes as well, make that white. In there as well. I don't want to go over the whites too much. Okay, I think that's perfect as ease. If you want to touch up the neck, you can as well. Touch up the neck. As it has teeth. Teeth, 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 teeth. Teeth is important here. Stunning. and see what it actually does slightly don't do too much go to your burns now this is the, another important part go over all the darker parts and this is where I see if we can go over the eyebrows some more so go over the dark parts I think I'm actually gonna pump this up to about 40% for the darker parts just brush over the darks so we're bringing back all the details now over there under the eye, under the eye, okay. and slightly over the reeds, the outer part, not too much, you want to look not right. Okay, now you can see what that actually looks like. So we brought back the details and stuff in the face, and that over there. It's perfect. Okay, so we got the details back in there. That's perfect. So now what I like to go ahead and do is after we have all of this done, that looks perfect. Um, I would say perfect as is we have your burns and everything so now what I like to go ahead and do is I like to add like that that kind of final final touches on that so I want to bring back that reds so what I do is I'll go to I'll use a use this thing now. so let's not use the color lookup for now let's just keep thing plain and simple we need the color lookup go ahead and create a UN saturation right what you go ahead and do is click on colorize so what I'll do is I'll just bump this up a bit to like a red make it like probably 21 um, control backspace that press your brush tool over there and then what you want to do is make it about 10% and then to bring back that nice glowy details make sure your foreground is white make sure your foreground is white yo just brush over the reds a bit more if I can bump this up to 20 I don't want to do it too much over the reds in the face so this is like almost like artificial makeup that you're adding on the face okay, let's move in. I'll go here as well I just want to see some reds here reds on top of the eye Put the red here on the side. And then important the lips. Get 
Okay, so you can see what that actually does. And then what I go in and do is I'll put this on either soft light. So you'll see what it does there. It will add that reds in nicely. And then after you add that reds in, create a color lookup. Use your LUT file of uh, light sunset. You can see what it's going to do. Uh, con light sunset. Um, and then click on this one over here. You're going to invert that mask. So control backspace. Use your brush tool again. And then just brush over everything that you actually done. So, over there. Over there. Over that one there. Over the cheeks. Top. to match the side Beautiful. okay and then soft light you can see what it actually does perfect it's just going there so now you can see what the face actually looks like so we added that that global dodge and burn in there this tool i like to go with and make a different color so even make it orange so what you can see it does it adds that nice global um, look on the face okay so after we have that out of the way what i go ahead and do is click on the bottom layer create the pin or press p for your pin tool if it doesn't want to pop up uh, let's just see where this little thing is your pin tool so i don't know i don't know why it didn't pop up now um for some reason so click on your pin tool um just make Round the area. So I actually explained the pen tool in one of my tutorials, or at least I think I do. I just so maybe you're gonna go over like my YouTube videos and stuff. You guys can go ahead and do that. Uh, just highlight over the head. Well, not highlight. Just make selections over the head. Selection, selection, selection. Okay. So now we got that. I'll make the selection on the outside as well. So I don't want to cover everything and then in that uh, right click and then make selection whenever this thing comes up. So selection, feather radius, zero, just click OK. So now I will highlight that over there. Uh, press Ctrl J so it will make a mask of that. So now what you go ahead and do is for that, you have that mask now. Go to filter, have it selected, filter, blur, and then what you want to go ahead and do is create a motion blur on that one. And then so this will just add in like that details in the back as you guys can see that's just the details itself so just create that motion below over the here that's fine perfect as is Control j make a duplicate of that filter blur and then go to Gaussian blur and then yeah so just bump it up to that there that should be fine click ok so we got that too over there I'll make that highlight or you can group it i like to just highlight it um, so I have that one over there and then what I like to do is I like to create a mask on the top one click your brush tool bump your opacity up make sure your foreground is black and then just brush over the parts where you actually included that so I don't want to include all of it in there uh, so I just brush that part out and then do one for the bottom one as well and then just brush some of that out Brush, brush, brush. Okay, that's perfect. And then that's what you basically have. You know, so there's the image that you created from scratch and the way that you actually want to go in and do it. Now, what I normally do is I'll add in like a logo and stuff on here. So I'm going to take you guys through that as well, how to add the logo onto that Part, but in plain and simple English, that is just the way that you go ahead and create something brilliant. So what I normally go ahead and do is add in color grading and all of those things. I'm going to show you guys that now. Okay, so I've added in like some of the color grading already. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, this is this is the color grading itself. Control G that. Uh, just rename this color. Um, 
So I've already added in like some of that color grading that you add to select the color you want. So the traditional color palette, black and white curves, and the gradient fill. Um, after I've added that in, I just like to go ahead and alter this one quickly a bit. And then between the gradient and the curves, just go ahead and add in the levels. Uh, so you're going to increase that so it can actually bring out the light part of a face. Increase that part just a slight bit. This, one a slight bit. this is what happens if you increase it too much. And I don't want to do that. So I'll increase this one a slight bit. And that's what that does. You can see that. Just adding like that old mood, that moody tone to the skin. Doesn't that look perfect? Huh? That looks 100% perfect. So after that is basically done. What I go ahead and do is Control Shift and N. Uh, so this is going to be for your um, like your little golden hour light. Call it what you will. You can call it anything. Uh, click your brush tool. Uh, make sure that this is on like something probably 40% and then go ahead and just hold in alt and then look for that light source that you actually want to add in so I want to add in a nice peachy color uh, increase that and just highlight it in the corners in the corners it adds that nice little light on her face uh, then hit X First press D uh, and then hit X, press D so it makes it default. Decrease your brush a bit and then increase the opacity and then just oops and then just uh, click on your mask, you lay your mask tool and then just brush slightly over the hair. So I don't want to add it into your face that light. So it's only slightly on the hair. As you can see what it does there, it adds in that light source over there. But I don't want to add it on the face too much. Perfect, and there you guys have it. If you guys liked this tutorial, I want you guys to go ahead, subscribe, share, and follow my page on Insta, on YouTube, call it what you will, Facebook, anywhere, um, for more tutorials. And if you actually enjoyed this tutorial, this was Don X from Don X Graphics, giving you the best tutorials on the web, always perfect. I am him. Deuces.